long time no see. Um, I've taken a bit of a break recently because I was dealing with some family stuff. Well, dealing with some family stuff. It's not quite over just yet, but I've got a little bit of a gap where I can stream. Thought, why not? Um, off stream I have been doing a little bit of questing, so I'm ahead of where I was when I stopped streaming for a bit. Apologies for that, but I just got too bored. But I didn't want to stream because I didn't want to go to the myriad. While the corruption myriad. still threatens me, I shall not turn away from my obligation. I started this with you. I plan to finish it with you as well. But we cannot understate the danger. Of course not. Perhaps. Just what more I am concerned. The Prince of Fate has it, I believe. When I embarked on this quest with you, I never expected to be working alongside Daedra. Let alone, are you offering me a way out? Thank you, friend, but I'll pass. I promised the abbot I'd recover the Fulcrum Obscura, and Torvasard assured me Blightcrown has the relic. How can I turn my back on saving reality? Oh. Or abandon Laramil? As long as the corruption Brilliant. threatens her, she's going to need someone to lean on. Anything I need to Wait a moment. What are you implying? They say the dead have nothing to fear. Then why am I filled with a sense of unease? Well, as long as you carry my soul gem, I'll go where you go. Even if we're probably marching straight to our doom. Truthfully, I have no idea. 
I've seen you accomplish some amazing feats, and Hermaeus Mora has faith in you. But this is the mythos we're going into. To face the champions of two enemy princes, maybe even the princes themselves. They say the dead have nothing to fear. Then why am I filled with a sense of unease? Well, as long as you carry my soul gem, I'll go where you go. Even if we're probably marching straight to our doom. In a second. Hey, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, no, no. On that one. Just people wanted an update on some stuff. Truthfully, I have no idea. I've seen you accomplish some amazing feats, 
and Hermaeus Mora has faith in you. But this is the mythos we're going into. To face the champions of... I didn't say that. The fate of Ria... That's an excellent... I suffer just as the Great Eye suffers. But I'll float alongside you into the very depths of Apocrypha. What choice do I have, mortal? I did this already. Oh. Well, My many factories of corruption will keep them busy, Prince Fermina. Disable Blight Crown's manufactories, and the corruption will dissipate. Just shatter the dream crystal that binds them to the mythos. Save Apocrypha while I pursue Vermina. Come, Gadeng. We'll take the West Point and leave the East to Laramel and Fate's Chosen. Mythos appears endless, but I sense a huge concentration of corruption in the right. Let's face renew your vigor. Back after a break, and there's already bots. I mean, I mean there's two bots. Restore your strength. Oh. Oh. 
corruption has been dealt with. Let us traverse to the western side. Light, light crown must have shattered the path. Simple enough to rectify. Least. That took more out of me than I expected. Follow the path. Sorry, mate. Miramil can't keep pushing herself like that. The corruption is wearing her down. Here comes Fate's Chosen. Probably going to gloat. Overhead. We could use some help. Was set upon as soon as we arrived. We never reached the manufactory. He was freaky blocked. as fuck. Let me summon a portal. Ugh, I'm exhausted. Dirt, yeah. Here comes Laramil. You and Gadain go on ahead. I'll stay with her. Stay safe, Proxy. And you too, Gadain. Laramil, when this is over. Now is not the time, Gadain. Go. very heart of the mythos. Just looking at it makes my head spin. the other day that maybe someone should make an RPG you set already in the destroyed one of these manufacturers world. then you know what to look like for completely like on that thing is ridiculous.
Colonel's amulet to protect us both. That was me who realigned the path for you. Thanks for asking. Dude, I'm the protagonist that doesn't talk. Closer to me, friend. Don't get complacent. I sense another of these vile contraptions nearby. What 
we done? Uh, no? Alright, I'm right behind you. Stand close huh? and let me shield you.
speak of. The fault from Obscura, just as Torvasad said. Now I can return it to the Abbey. Look, Laramil, we found them. When you are ready, Proxy, this portal shall take you to their meal. Laramil, thank the ancestors you're all right. Power I sense up ahead. It must be Vermina. I know you. The Dreambreaker from Stormhaven. You will not slink away this time. Die, mortal! While I wear Shareni's mortal shell, Mora cannot find me. You must face me alone, mortal. Belvoir at your service. While I wear Shalreni's mortal shell, Mora cannot find me. You must 
must face me alone. Mortal. My wounds. I'm not sure I can keep going. from Stormhaven. You will not slink away this time. Die, mortal! Get up! We need you in the fight! Ah. Excellent repairs. Good technique. While I wear Shalreni's mortal shell, Mora cannot find you. You must face me alone, mortal. Step into the focus to use my ghost sight. My ghost sight can defeat this enemy. Children is body. Vermina takes on a more nightmarish form. Oh. 
weakness. Nightmares aren't real. Contamination way. Nice. Well done, chosen. Now enter the second vault and make sure the glyphic is secure. And now our deal is done. I helped you save the park. You helped me enter this vault. What would you ask of me? And speak with me. Defeated, Vermina expelled. You did well. What has occurred is what was meant to be. All the potential futures coalesced into a single point in time to render a moment in fate. For one who knows everything, I can only speculate. Odd. I find that refreshing. It relates to the forgotten memory. But unless I look now, I must restore my realm. The hidden kindred linger, but without leaders, they are... Mere. Do not despair, chosen. Through your efforts, the lost memory was denied, Vermina and Peria. Fate selected you to save Apocrypha and preserve reality. You have accomplished all that and more. Destiny followed the exact path that I foretold. But we are not. The Prince of Fate does not lie. Two beings, now remember us, danger exists in air. Return to Cypher's Midden. We will speak again.
stuck there. to see you unharmed. I look forward to hearing about your encounter with Vermida. Oh, let me! We defeated Vermida! I didn't get to see you beat the Dreamweaver? How unfair is that? <sighs> so we can relax now? Ah, uh, friend, you have that look. What terrible news are you about to tell Laramil? Okay. What happened after you entered the portal, Proxy? Scrooge tells us the one who knows has reconnected with his realm. Of course. He needed you to lead him to Vermina. Guide him to where she was lurking because she was hidden inside the body of Master Shoremi. Unfortunate, but not unrecoverable. Now that Hermaeus Mora is restored, he can locate Torvasad and deal with him once and for all. Unless... Does Torvasad still have some way to... Torvasad's nature. He is unlike any Dramora I have ever encountered. He helped us to help himself. But I believe... Then let us take a moment to remember all we accomplished. All you accomplished, Pro... While we contemplate the best method for tracking down Torvasad, there are two other tasks we must accomplish, Proxy. One concerns updating the records of Apocrypha. The other requires us to return to Necron and rectify... Scrooge can provide more information, as it is a vital part of her job. After repairing a thread of fate, she must record the fight. Necron, one of the first threads of fate we investigated. Scrooge can tell you all about the process for inscribing her records in the Chronicle of Apocrypha. You should talk with her. Meanwhile, I shall... As have you and I, Proxy. That is only natural when allies face unim- I mean, it's cool looking, but... I don't think I'm gonna be my frame myself. My role has always been to observe and repair the lines of fate. Okay, five minutes is going to reach any day, so I'm going to... Pretty soon I'll be going into a big town and grabbing all of the crafting units, because I've been doing this. Before that happens, I want to... so I can get access to the air um, what do you call it? Like, crafting area. Forge, I suppose that's what I would call it. I would call it. I can't do that until that. Right. 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 Jump the gun. My role has always been to observe and repair the lines of fate, never to unduly influence them, no matter how sorely I'm tempted. The Chronicle can wait. This is more important. Why else would I have even mentioned anything, mortal? It's like no one ever listens to a word I say. Anyway, I noticed an anomalous thread not far from here. A fate anomaly. The sacred task appointed to me. My job is to spot. Not us, mortal. Just you. And Melon, I suppose. 
Only fate's chosen can resolve this, and that's... Apocrypha is quite resilient. And since the burning sensation in my tentacles and the pain behind my orbs have mostly faded, I'd say yes. Besides, I can hear the melodious hum of the Great Eye resonating all around me. So that's... Uh, the usual. Can I get you anything, Laramil? No, thank you, Gadain. I am mostly recovered from our ordeal. I do need to visit this shop. Okay, but first, okay, let's get rid of some stuff. Before I do any mission, I need to go to the shop. I've got all she's a heavy
Jera Mako. Everything except for the other. I'm gonna finish the current one. It was sold over on the guild market, but not right now. There's not going to be mud crabs near here. Look out, everyone! Hey, you. Sure, I guess. Anything specific?
It'll be good. Hope we find... What would you like to talk about? I don't think he has a healing staff. I could be wrong. Because it's an inferno. What's new? Oh, that's my stuff. It was an inferno stuff. Let's get out there. Need something? Thinking I need a, I should probably stop to a ranged fighter, but I like Isabel. Did someone call for a night? Second. Quickly check some. Under the drop off the alchemy crafting rip. Anyone help me? We don't like to discriminate against them all. You know how powerful. Not yet. Talk to Scholar Arlance when you arrive at the town. Oh. It's a bloody group dungeon. some gelato for myself. I want to check to see if I
It is the calm after the storm. We must pick up the pieces and continue, despite all the things we lost. quest. One of my snitches in Gro Rumor is that ruins been. Well, go on. Well, got me. Easy peasy, me lemon squeeze. Finally. Now we're talking. I mean, get on go. Well, I... Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see.
Damn, that's a forge. Skyrim in a <laughs> You're standing in front of that. They'll stop firing because, like, hey, get out of the way, you're gonna get hit otherwise. And if you move into it after the shot, you will get hurt. Okay. Drop this off and then I'll go back to the regular scheduled programming. I think I got all the. Oh, I didn't get the dive station. But I'm not too worried about that. Can you not see the strength it affords us? The grand oak of Eldenroot has stood for millennia. It is sheltered and fed thousands. And what has it gotten? The monument is idolized by their forces. Until the mur of value had to step in on your behalf. Better to chop it down for tinder. The forest will hardly miss a few trees. Rice blasted son of a drek sifting, root munching, bread baking sot. May your ears be stuffed with whirly fly lava, your bow hand bitten by a rabid stoat. Moving on. <laughs> Jesus. That was an insult. Tread carefully, friends. Wouldn't want the forest to swallow you up. Great, we got a bin and a bucket. one know a spinner apart from other Bosmir. Not to sound rude, but this one has trouble telling elves apart. There are three around you now. Look for the Bosmir sitting in scenic places. for noticing anomalies of fate is impressive but this might not be torn up that path to the left oh shit i think that's where the anomaly is i finish what it was saying hello Such a 
matter what we encounter, remember you literally have a Telvani Magister in your pocket. I sense something in this. Use my ghost sight to look around. This bridge wasn't here a moment ago. I suggest we cross it. Prince of Fate thinks himself so perfect, but for all his power, he couldn't eliminate the memory he so desperately sought to hide. Why would you? You are merely mortal, but I have wandered the plains of oblivion for eons, an outcast with no clan. I believed I was formed that way, a forgotten scrap of creation, until the dream began to... No, the dream that will end it. That will finally restore all that was lost. Emmaus Mora caused all this with his greed and selfishness. He made us all forget. He made me forget. There was another Daedric prince. My prince. A prince that saved me and preserved just enough of my memory so that I could one day save them in return. A prince whose jealous, craven siblings cast them down and wiped them from the annals of history. No prince of oblivion can truly be destroyed. The final glyphic contains that secret. How to find them and restore them to their rightful place. And then... There I go. It doesn't matter what you foresee. You can't do this to another prince. Or to the rest of us, for that matter. You have seen the damage Prince Athelia has already done to the fabric of it. If left unchecked, reality will unravel. All of us must agree, Mora, and I definitely do not. Memories are sacrosanct, as are the domains of the princes. You can't punish someone for something they might possibly do. I must. The risk is too great. But there is no alternative. For the sake of reality, you must all forget! What was forgotten has been remembered. We must speak. Too late. Too late! The door sealed long ago is open. Just a crack. The memories released from the two glyphics are accurate and true. Etheria, the Prince of Paths, the mistress of the untraveled road, the unseen. Her ability to alter fate, to shape destiny to her liking, was a threat. To all reality, what yes. mortal could? The fate changer is an arbiter of chaos, who can unravel the strands of fate and rearrange them to suit her every whim. Her... I gathered my fellow princes and revealed the danger I foresaw. Most agreed to aid me, some refused. In the end, Torvasar, something I did not foresee. An agent of Etheria, hidden for all these eons. Her continue. A portal?
still there. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit shoddy. That could have gone either way, that one. Magister Goreth referred to you as the Mouth of the Mouthless. I suppose that fits. Uh, look, I've never been very good at this, but I wanted to thank you. Nonsense. My enormous intellect certainly came in handy, but your fate's chosen. You would have found a way, with or without me. But I'm glad you rescued me from Shalreni. That you took me on this adventure. If I never escape this soul gem, maybe I'm a no. Hello, mortal. The great eye told me what happened. Even though things didn't go exactly the way we hoped, we're all still here. That means reality is stable. Laramel and I spoke with a few of the ciphers, and we're all in agreement. We want to add your story to the Chronicle of Apocrypha. Only the most momentous events make it into that sacred vault. I always saw fate as black and white, set in stone, unchangeable. But now I see that not every... Let it be known that the name of fate's chosen shall be entered into the Chronicle of Apocrypha, to be remembered forever for actions accomplished in service to fate. And fate's chosen confounded the forces of Vermina and Periite, saving Nern and Apocrypha. Let this record describe it in flowery, yet justified praise. All hail, Faith's Chosen! <laughs> the time has come for me to return to Necrom and complete... The time has come for me to return to Necrom and complete my mission for the Abbey. When I present the Fulcrum Obscura to the Abbot, I'd like you to be at my side. That's good. That's very good. I appreciate it. Besides, I want to let the Abbot know what you did. You preserved Nern as well as Apocrypha through your actions. By the way, did you find Torvasard? Leramil has been dying to know what happened. All right, all right. Not imminent is better than imminent. If the Prince of Fate needs you, he can find you on Nern as easily as here in Apocrypha. I must consider the best parts of the Necropolis to show to Laramil. She wants... Yes, she's being quite insistent on... Wait a moment, are you having a jest with me? Laramil is a special person, as I'm sure... Now that the immediate danger has passed, I would like that tour of your catacombs now. You... you would? Um, we'll meet you in Necrom, friend. Hey. Back to Necrom. 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 Necropolis is the heart of the city.
Inspector Gadain asked me to watch for you. He's waiting for you through the door to the east. Cheers. Uh, what? Well done, Curate. With the sacred relic returned, I feel it's safe to once again open the necropolis. Now, why don't you say a few words about your adventures? Say a few words? Me? Go ahead, mate. The abbot insisted on the immediate return of the relic, friend. Sorry you missed that part of the ceremony. But now he wants me to give a speech? Right, what's in my heart? Since we seem to have a moment, tell me what occurred at the pre- I see. Are you at liberty to tell- a forgotten Daedric Prince. Only the one who knows could keep such a fact secret for so long. Then I am sure Hermaeus Mora shall call upon us again when the time is right. You are still fate's chosen, and I am your guide. But reality seems to be holding. If there was an imminent day, go on with your life, Proxy. When Hermaeus Mora needs us to resume the chase, I shall send word. Grow up, Proxy. I am well over a century old. Young for an altmer, but not without my share of romantic experiences. I find the turret to be... Yes, but he no longer has the resources of them. I expect. Say what is in your heart, G'day. Right. Thanks, Laramil. The abbot asked me to okay. tell you about my adventures. How I recovered the sacred relic and saved the necropolis. But the truth is... I couldn't have done any of it without fate's champion. Someone I'm proud to call my friend. Thanks to them, we saved the relic. We saved Nern. We saved all of reality. All hail fate's champion. All hail my friend. Oh. <laughs> well said, Gadain. Thanks, Laramil. I couldn't have done any of this I without have you, too. I a... think the Stratocaster. This is my favorite. And then I started with a really cheap knockoff guitar. A really cheap knockoff that my friend had me. It's a Zelda. I'm not really sure if it's an actual legit brand or not, but it's a cheap guitar and it's not the best. But, yeah, just the two. They're both electric. Um, standard guitar's not... Nah, not really. Very... I'm a very light... Be I'm a pretty much a... I'm pretty much a beginner at this point. I was um, trying to self-teach using an app called Musician. Oh yeah. Yeah, I tried teaching myself using an app called Musician. Okay. Um, but I got stuck and I just can't get over the hump. So I want to do some like proper lessons just to like get over that those humps and like le run learn any bad habits I might have taught myself. Um, but it's expensive obviously. How's it going for you? Has it been going well? Okay. Um, is there a particular genre you like to play, or just like whatever you feel like?
looks like I am up to the side quests. Okay, I'm, I'm a metalcore fan, so I want to try and learn how to play like Boom Meter Horizon and um, uh, While She Sleeps, and probably some Architects. Definitely Boom Meter Horizon, though. <laughs> nah. Maybe, maybe at some point I'll, if I get my use, my musician subscription again, maybe I'll do some streaming of me doing that, but we'll see. Plus, that's also probably a good way to get copyright strike. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. I need to find someone to look into this. Beware, stranger. Madness stalks choirs wind. Most of my fellow ciphers are lost. The hush has taken them, and the Daedra of the wine have turned on those few of us who kept our minds. They killed mortals who have worked here for decades. Choirs wind is a scriptorium. Here, the Great Eyes Daedra binds secrets into tomes. Ciphers like me help with this sacred task, preparing materials, ink, blank pages, bindings. But the new scrolls Cypher Savinius brought to the wind are corrupt. The scrolls give off a maddening aura. Sabinius left several hidden in the wind. We need to destroy them and make sure Sabinius has no more. The hush will take me if I go back, but an outsider like you should be able to resist. You'll find the corrupted scrolls hidden within Choir's wind. Sabinius is in there too. You can't leave him with any scrolls. You're thinking she's wind saying wine, corrupt. not wine. And watch out for Cypher Gellin. Like He's a clever wine. alchemist, but I saw the hush wine. take him. He's dangerous. Many mortals find their way to Apocrypha, but few find their way home again. The secrets and insights of the Great Eye's realm fill the mine, crowding out that which makes us... us. Yes, the secrets they take into their minds change them. Their bodies mold themselves to follow. They become warped. Most hushed go... We assist Hermaeus Mora's Daedric servants in the creation of books holding secrets. The Seekers compose the texts. Mortals help prepare the materials. Sometimes, after decades, a mortal is allowed to work as a copyist in the scriptorium itself. I don't know. Many of the books you see in Apocrypha are echoes of books that exist elsewhere. But scriptoriums, such as Choir's Wine, are where the great eyes... Yes, each one contains a secret Hermaeus Mora has chosen to tempt or test mortals, as well as a doorway to Apocrypha. Those who study a black book learn something few others know, and they try to keep that in mind. To the Great Eyes domain, written. I'm trying to remember. Thanks for the recommendation. Why does it sound familiar? I could be here for I could get lost here forever. Every stream would just be me reading books. Okay, 
thing. I'm avoiding that thing. These are just regular seekers, they're not corrupt, so they're just doing their job. Miss me. I've already got Kashyyyk style. Like it would be the area where the bus would be for the.
gone. Zaman siyah. You returned. I was worried the lurkers got you. I was beginning to fear the worst. Tell me, did you destroy the corrupted scrolls? And did you find Cypher Sabinius? I can't believe any Cypher would willingly take... I must examine this and see if there's a way to undo the effects. The hushed are lost forever. But now that the corrupted scrolls are gone, maybe they'll forget their belligerent. I think I might wait a while before going inside. The first servant? I thought he was a myth. One of those stories of Apocalypse. A mortal who lived in the days when dragons were worshipped as gods, or, or so it's said. Hermaeus Mora opened Apocrypha to the first servant, and he's been here ever since, spinning plots and gath nothing. By tampering with Choir's wine, the first servant set himself against the Great Eye. If Hermaeus Mora still has a purpose for the first servant, he'll spare him. Assuming things return to normal in Choir's mind, I'll well. resume my work assembling Skyrim. the work as a copyist. Or dangerous? I don't know. How can I help? I'm at your service, of course. Some of my favorite tales are those of the Alliance leaders. And the Companions, the adventuring group? 
I understand that you have obligations to your friends in the Dark Brotherhood. If I might ask a favor, allow me to step away when you... Ready to write the next chapter of our... Of course. I wouldn't have offered you my service if I didn't... What would you ask of me? I'm gonna go downstairs, get my gelato, I'll be right back.
so I long had to badly go to the loo. I am back now. Okay. for the ride or not The wrecked ships are ahead through these sea caves. Look for my father's belongings. If we find them, we'll likely find him as well. My father treasured this locket. He wore it on every voyage for good luck. He would never leave it behind. But it is marked with a symbol of Hermas Mora. I never noticed that before. He doesn't have any guts, he's a ghost. None left to stand against us.
I recognize this, the father's spyglass. But its lens is cracked and useless. That's my father's handwriting. But and someone else's there. as well. What does it mean? of some assistance.
opulent Gale. Is my father there? And your bell, my... You brought my son here. I thought I lost him. I'm Nanarel, captain of the opulent Gale. I watched my son swept overboard. He would drown in the storm. I appealed to a greater power, but didn't complete the ritual. We must finish the task, lest he perish again. You must sacrifice three tokens from my past. Logbook, spy glasses. This must be... Forgive me. What I had managed to do for my son came at a great cost. The others... You have seen the wandering souls shambling on these shores. I have been charged with guiding them home. But this must be the unqu- It's as you said. I am alive. I should be dead. I need time to think of this over. As soon as he says, go back to the bridge. Sendar seems safely to your rest. My father traded his life for mine. Let me tell you all, my friend. Then you can cast the items into the flames and complete my pact. I will tell you if the pact was with Hermas Mora, who sleeps with his secrets in the depths. I have learned an incantation to entreat with him from an ancient sailor and inscribed the summoning into my logbook. When I saw my child swept away in the storm, I knew he would perish, and I invoked the pact. Hermas Mora heard my prayers and answered. At a cost. My son was saved. But I am fated to serve as Hermas Mora's guide in this land of lost souls. You must burn the relics of my past, so I exist only in memory. Sacrifice the spot. These items represent my past. 
place them in the sacred flame to finalize my pact and seal my fate. With this glass, I beheld Hermes Mora rising from the sea in response to my evocation. It nearly shattered my mind. So horrid was his visage. The book invokes the pact I made. I transcribed the spell into it. When I spoke the words aloud, Hermes Mora's writing appeared beneath it, agreeing, burning the book and the other items finalizes my agreement. Unless it is fed to the... Ah. That is a treasured totem of my past life, of my lovely wife and devoted son. It is... You've heard what I have to say. Now place the sacrifices into the flame. The logbook? Why didn't it burn? I don't understand. How is this possible? Hermes Mora has changed the bargain. It now reads... Let Nanarel, or the memory of him, become my guide for the drowned dead. The words, or the memory of him, are new. You mean to suggest Hermes Mora wants me to forget my own father? Forget our time together? Surely I would never... No, I will do it. If it means my father will return to the mortal plane, I will do whatever it takes. Hermes Mora will trade my memories for my father's life. I would forget him, but he would live. I would rather perish than let my son forget me. Let me seal the pact. I'm unsure how you came to help my son. I am. I made my choice, and I should have a son forget his father? I would rather perish, literally. Let me honor the original promise I made. My son is stubborn, but he offers too much. Give me the log. Traveler, my father put everything on the line to save me. Should I hesitate when my father made the same choice? My son is this. Hear me, Hermes Mora. My liege, seal our pact for eternity. We rebuke your other offer. My father. Gone. I have no words. I am grateful for your assistance, Traveler. Please, leave me with my grief. Right back to the rubbish.
bloody wire. The seeker doing here, you know. I've got some of the same spots as the bee, you know. You returned at just the right moment. Ah, excellent. Well done. Hm, yes, just needs a bit of finessing. Brilliant. Should be all ready now to give to Oathman Lero. Oh, you know the usual cleaning this, tossing that, busy, busy. I also, I, I need... What? In large doses, perhaps, but... Uh, oh, all oh, right. It's poison. But understand, Laro is dreadful. A violent bully, totally unfit for his station. You'd be doing a favor to... You wouldn't. Talk to the guy first. Nothing to say to you, friend of the Dark Lady. Oh, stop complaining, Mel. Your headaches are no excuse for poor results. You are of House Telvani. Find a remedy and press on. Ah, my head. Balver is sending some minion to deliver my tincture. About time. Lazy fool couldn't even deliver it himself.
Do you need something? I don't have time to waste with someone below my station. I've important House Telvani affairs to see to, and... Oh, don't mind if I do. Balva Bemis sent word that he... even take a whiff before guzzling down a vial from a stranger. Well, I suppose his seat is empty now. I wonder who will claim it. It worked? It worked! Is he... Oh, he is quite dead. Um, good. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, we did it. Thank you so much. It feels as though a... I can't thank you enough for playing your... Well, we need a replacement. By the power granted me by House Helmani, I bestow upon you, Volver Bemis, the rank of Oathman. Now be gone. Oh, perfect. How exciting. You. Word travels fast in old Isra, Outsider. I heard you work with the Dark Lady. Last time she came through, I had to clean up three bodies. If she sent you... Just information? No risk to scale or tail? Very well. I don't know about a spy, but a servant leaves the quarters late every Sundas and Midas night, then returns early the next morning. No idea who, but there's always a strange smell the next day. What? No! It's locked for a reason? Oh, I didn't expect you to be reasonable. That's refreshing. I can't give you the key to our quarters. My... Did you see that woman outside? If looks could kill, she wouldn't need those knives. Shh. She asked about her assistant. Just keep your head down. Was that you, rummaging around upstairs? If you're a new servant, then I hope you've learned... Well, last week, the head steward assigned me to Master Sulis's quarters. He's friendly in public, but exceedingly mean behind closed doors. I have, and I wish they'd do it quietly. I won't tell the head steward, but they could repay my discretion by not disturbing my sleep. And no, I don't know who it is. Yes, and it's right in front of me. Have you been wrestling in the swine pond? Hey, hero. Find anything pertinent to my writ? Notice how the servants around here love me. They know I'm here for bigger scribs than them. Well... Come to think of it, I have had a writ or two for servants over the years. Three, actually. You brought me a jar. Ugh, it reeks like Asha's undergarments. Why in the world would a servant need a jar of Kaguti musk? I can't think of a single useful purpose other than to stink up the place. Did Akigo have any useful information? Well, I'd say you'd found the source of the spell. But why go out on specific nights just to return with a jar of stink? Could it be some sort of... Now that's interesting. Certainly worthy of the efforts of a spy, depending on the nature of the project. Let's you and I keep this to ourselves for now. See what else we... Back in the saddle.
here, hero. Got anything interesting for me? Bolsi's report didn't do this place justice. This isn't a camp. It's a House Dres foothold in House Tilvani territory. Any chance you found anything that will help us? Well, that narrows down the list of suspects, and it also tells us how they exchange information with their contact. They're using the Kuguti nests to the north as a pickup spot. Did you find anything else? Add all this to that jar of Kaguti musk you found in the servants' quarters, and I think we're getting close to catching our spy. <laughs> Using false names to identify the masters. Clever. And demonstrates a sense of humor. Not quite yet. This could just be another diversion. Let's not... So, it appears that an aide or servant leaves messages for House Drez at the Kuguti nest to the north, using the musk to keep from being attacked. First, go to Talhulan and update Master Sulis. The clues indicate that Tredesim is an aide to one of the masters, who also sleeps in the servant quarters. They use Kuguti musk to approach the northern nests to exchange... Not a bad time to review the evidence. The Drez call the spy Tredesim. They're a servant, but more than that, a personal aid to one of the Talbani masters. We also know that Tredesim passes information to the camp house Drez established outside Aldezra. We deduce that Tredesim leaves their quarters late at night to drop information off at the northern Kaguti nests. They use musk to keep the beasts from attacking. The next day, Drez agents recover the information. Only speculation. Hmm. Good. Because we still have to do Got sick of going through that. You're assisting the Morag Tong agent, correct? As busy as I am, I can always spare a moment for the hired help. Oh, that is good to hear. Even though the Assembly enacted the writ, I know that Naryu is under no obligation to keep us informed. I appreciate it. I know better than to ask for specific details. The Morag Tong prefers to work unhindered. Anything else? The Masters send representatives to the Assembly. Our mouths. They have the authority to speak in our names. Some sessions require a Master or two to attend, as well as any aides. You did, did you? Interesting. Yes, I'm working on something with Masters Foves and Thilsey. We've been meeting frequently until fairly... A very informative update. Thank you. Now you... Not especially. I... To a Telvani master such as myself, ev only in the sense... Hireling, I hope you have a strong sense of discretion. Talking to Master Sulis like that may not be wise. I, I totally understand. What some call paranoia, I call prudent caution. This spy could cause irreparable damage to the Assembly, if not to House Telvani itself. Did he now? How easily he let slip confidential information to a stranger. I know others find me grating, but I've spent my life... I don't like this feeling of the war. I'm suspicious of everyone, especially my peers and rivals. You have to be. He has a new urgency about him, always wants to talk about some new idea or another. For example... Sulis mentioned our secret project, yes? He insists that we meet in person. And with a spy and possible assassin roaming this tower? Ridiculous. What? No, of course not. Hmm? Oh, Alamgito. 
Yes, he's been my loyal assistant for a number of years. Maybe I've been working him too hard. Seems like he has no time to keep up his appearance and the There's smell. There's the spy. Perhaps I should get him a this spy part. Alum. Now I know who the spy is. A good associate. Oh, oh. Interesting. Let's talk with this in fresh air. Here's the other one. I smell like a kagudi, this place smells like a kagudi, and you... Master Foves' aide? Interesting. Once House Drez heard about the writ, they must have panicked. Not so fast, hero. Have we found everything? Ah, oh, what's that on the ladder? Are you sure that's just mud? Why don't you just read it to me from over there? Ah, probably that secret project the servant mentioned. Foes is part of the project, so as his trusted aide, Yito gains access to the details. May have mm -hmm. even taken the notes himself. Mm. What else? Bristleback, Sparrow, that letter, and the dress cap explained these code names. This means Master Foves worked with Yito this whole time. They even tried to frame Master Sulis as the spy. Damn it. Can't say I'm overly surprised. My next step is quite clear. I kill Gito. The writ covers Tradesim and just Tradesim. Anything you want to do beyond that is... Yeah, I won't kill the other dude. Or at least report him. Angelina give away that his servant was the spy when he mentioned the smell.
Tell me, assassin, have you dealt with our spy? Not yet. But I about. see that you and the assassin have. That Morag Tong assassin came out of nowhere. I blinked and she was in the room. What? What's that supposed to mean? I am not. Looks like we got to that letter before Gito. He never received his orders to slip away and make a break for the dress can. Now I complete my writ. I figured you'd want to witness a professional at work. After the rules are quite explicit. Only the name of the writ is my target, and that's just tradition. Gito is the spy, and he's my target. Show Master Sulis the evidence, if you like. Gito. Was there something else, outsider? Hmm. Nice try, foes, but not good enough. I appreciate the effort, but he lo you know what all good Telvanni masters do. Carefully consider. Now that Sulis knows what Foves was up to, the backstabbing and plotting will intensify. I suppose that's life in House Telvanni, though. An excellent point. Never let it be said that Nario Virian reneges on a promise. After this, I need a long, hot bath. Mm. That's not an invitation, hero. Maybe next time? Ah, but I... Foes! I understand you have a spy in your employ. So, now you know, Sulis. Well, good for you. That and a few coins will get you a ride on the Silt Strider. No use denying it. Assassin, complete your writ. Then this is over, Tredethim. No! Master Phobes made me! I didn't have a choice! With that, my work is done. For the assembly, Master Sulis rises in power. With that, it's time we finally talk about what happened. As much as it pains me to revisit the events of the past and of... From Seven. Okay. Reopen the necropolis! Now all will see how much I honor and respect my ancestors. All the bank tellers are busy. Believe I can't hear more than one person at a time. Ready to write the next chapter of the 
pauldrons apparently. Oh, she was fully equipped, apparently not. I heard you were there when Molar Grunda was defeated. Well done. Decent size. You know, I almost didn't show up. Seeing you again brought back so many memories. The idea of returning to Balmora and avoiding this talk certainly crossed my mind. I can't keep running from this, though. We need... Razumdar gave me his version of the story. I'm fairly certain he didn't ride into a Daedric realm on the back of a griffin, though, did he? <laughs> Regardless, I know what transpired. I can't Sounds help but like think Vea's actions were because of my like failures. That. And yet all she saw was her only friend pushing her away. I don't get emotional, Hero, but even I would have been resentful in her place. Truth was, I didn't know what to do. Vale wrote me when she arrived in Somerset. She made it clear that sending her away was what I thought best for me, not for her. Alone with nothing but her thoughts, thoughts of anger and sadness. And the path I should have ended when I had the chance. Instead, I did what I always do. I focused on my work. The here and now is too dangerous to ever get distracted. That's what I told my... And from what I hear, it cost a great deal of lives. But you did what I couldn't. That's all. Now I need a drink and to gather my thoughts. Get my next job and get out of this damn peninsula. Maybe the next time we run into each other... Thank you for speaking with me, sir. This one must ensure its team falls.
saddle. Greetings, Outworlder. We know why you came, and we offer gratitude. Our situation grows dire. Very few of us still stand, and we can no longer hear those who do. The Dream Carvers must not... Dream Carvers swarm our fortress. It is theirs now. <gasps> While our path still exists, so do the remnants. Stop clinging to a dead order. We must accept our fate. This mortal can change our fate. Stay here. Tend to the stricken. <sighs> dream Carvers roam the halls of the Cenotaph. The Dream Carver invasion proves our clan has grown weak. Although our power sputters and dims, we still emit a small glow. The remnants are the sword and shield of the... Your question confuses us. We told you, we are the remnants. Ah, now the problem becomes clear. The remnants are a whole. Our minds linked. Our experiences shared. We do not distinguish it. Hmm. Your fingers, do they not form your hand? And your hand, it is part of your body, yes? As is your foot. All of Apocrypha once knew us. We guarded Hermaeus Mora's most treasured secret. We faded. It started slowly. Our numbers dropped subtly. We have thought about that. Hey. Control. We entered unseen. Come, let us plan. These caves wind through the cenotaph's lower levels. Many of our defensive measures originate here. We will find them north of here. They will require both of our efforts to set. You must hold the trigger while we funnel energy. We may run into dream coffers as we search. Do not... They are meant to deal with any thieves that... This dream carver spell opens a void in our thoughts. It feels like a wish. Charge this power node. Our fire trap should ignite now.
five. Forgive me, but I hate those things. Good riddance. Let us talk about next steps. With the traps powered, we should find navigating the cenotaph much easier. They should destroy most of the invaders with ease. However, they won't get them all. We need to determine how close they are to reaching the Remnant Pact. We head to the courtyard. If the dream car... The ritual may tell us something. Look for clues. So alone. We, can, we cannot stand being alone. Remnants function as a whole. Why isolate? A sample of my vestige for each stone. This unlocks the way. That is the ritual's core. Her own essence. Fragments of ritual medium. We can learn from that. That creature, Uzanath, 
She leads these invaders. We know her reputation, savage and impatient. No wonder she managed to take the cenotaph by force. To use her own vestige as fuel for the ritual presents a massive risk. The walls of the crux cannot break. We connected the locks to the remnant's mental web. Only we may enter unscathed. Uzanath's ritual siphons remnant minds. She blends their psychic energy. What it means, mortal, is she has crafted a key to the crux. Once she blends enough remnant minds with her own vestige, she will... Uh, we searched the grounds. We did not chew. We no longer fear. We did not chew. The remnants keep oozing out. Think of the power node. my friend. We've won. to cause trouble. Despite your efforts, I have what I need. Good try, though. We'll be cleaning up. I'm with you, my friend. entered for countless eons. The remnants have keys. We need the journal of the first remnant. Find the relics. Hurry! Containing the wisdom of the first men. Bet your match.
That key itself is a lock, which another key then opens. Spyglass peers through the void to find new realms. Well done. Now we go to the ritual dais. Here, we will guide you through the next steps. Place the relics where I tell you. Once complete. We use the gathered relics. Once placed, our powers shall bind them together. They will connect to what remains of the remnant's metal. We shall open a door like any other. You will have no problem entering. To pierce the void and see our... Place the relics. To form a lock that holds tight the door. To bind us all through ancient wisdom. We opened the way. Enter the crux, outworld. The crux. But wait. Our connection. We have gone silent. You remnant! There's nothing here. Trickery. I shall take your mind. Save us! Rally! Fucking hell. So close. Drake, get back on. 
on your feet! What does this mean, mortal? We need your guidance. As far back as we can recall. The red... Further, where does our power come from? We cannot say. An excellent point. Our goals do not need to come from some external source. We feel more certain than ever about our... It's only through you. What comes? We shall rebuild. Hey. I'm gonna leave that for tonight. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider like. If you're watching on YouTube, you check out the Twitch stream live. Link will be in the description below. Um, I should be back on tomorrow some, sometime. But yeah. Until next time, see you later.